pass. A what? A what? A what? A hall pass. We have this movie. There's these two guys right here. They have this camaraderie. Is any of this reminiscent of experiences the two of you have had? None that we could talk about. Nothing you can talk about? <laughs> No, actually, we're both married men. Yeah, this, okay. like these this two. came from a uh, script by uh, Pete Jones. We okay. would never think of a concept like this. Uh, no, this came from Pete so Jones. So was it Pete that came up with fake yeah. chow? Yeah. What's fake chow? When you're going south on him, you don't want to use your tongue. So you just use your fingers and you smack your lips real loud. You know, mm, fake chow. Uh, no, fake chow actually was a real thing in, in uh, uh, amongst my friends that they had discussed. Well, I Googled it, and there was only one entry. It was on Urban Dictionary, and I really? thought, well, if this is really, you know, only one entry, they must have come up with this idea. You know yeah. what? We Googled it uh, when we were making the movie. There were no entries. So, so. it must have come someone from someone. that saw the, yeah. the pre-screening pre, pre, yeah. has put it out there oh, on wow. Urban Dictionary, I'm glad apparently. it's getting out there. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know about the woman. Are women going to be very happy with the two of you? Uh, well, I think they will in the movie, because it, in okay. the movie... Of course, there are I mean, a few. There are a few like, moments here and there you're when putting these ideas in the guy's head that this fake child thing is acceptable. Mm. Well, you know, it's not for it's not every guy. It was just Jason in the movie. It's a little. Yeah, that's why it's funny. Yeah. Oh God! Oh yeah! More tongue. Jason, are you prepared to be the face of fake chow? Yes. For all of mankind, it's going to be well, a new the fingers catch. of fake chow. The, the yeah. fingers. Yeah. You fake had. Chow. How did you guys come up? With, there was a moment where it was just this directing to the camera of an impersonation of what Women it looks might like. Women like that. Even do you more remember? More. You know, there's no. Uh, this, do, like, uh, there were teeth, and they were like. Oh right. Do you want to like, do it? Uh, like where I do like it. Like right that. Cut. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 well, that, no, no, that's no. literally me just doing what Pete Farrelly did and just doing it back at him. <laughs> Oh, and like then he, he just sit right back at him? Yeah, he would just, I mean, you know, Pete knew how to play every part in this movie. He, he had really it all figured out in his head. So if there was a physicality that came with it, then he would, you know, he'd encourage that. And there's some things that you may be taking a different direction that he really enjoyed. Uh, but that was one that he, I was just aping exactly what he did. He had it on lockdown. He knew what it was. He knew that term. He came up with that term or... <laughs> or at least brought it to my uh, awareness. Kill me off of that brick! When you actually get in there and you have the guys, how do you get them comfortable enough to just balls out, go for it? Because there are some moments that, like, yeah. maybe a hot tub scene. Yeah. I mean, how did that? How did that come about? That particular <laughs> scene, yeah, there's some male nudity and Owen involved, and he, he was a little he was a little uptight on that one, but he was nervous. But, you know, in the spirit of the big broad comedy, he went with it. Well, uh, the nervousness was that he was afraid someone on the crew might take a picture with a phone or something, and then it would end up on the internet, and then oh, without an explanation, that wouldn't look good. I right? thought he was nervous he might like it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, what about the poor Irishman? I mean, are, is this just cut two shots, or is this all is this all as real as you see it? He was a friend of ours who doesn't get a lot of work, so he was happy to have it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you do that a lot? Do your friends, you just kind of put them in your movies? Yeah. A lot of our Guys friends like that. have <laughs> small penises, and so we throw them in when we can. We How did you know that he did? Did he, had he discussed this before? Um, <laughs> he just looks like the kind of guy who would. <laughs> He's a tall guy. It's a little unexpected. <laughs> Freckly red here, you know. We had vacation with them, and you know. Were you what, what were you dreading or excited, or what was your reaction to um, the hot tub scene directions? Because there were some very specific choreography for that your character. That was that was it. Really, did have to be choreographed just perfectly, yeah. and uh, I think that Pete and Bobby they they spent a lot of time on that scene getting it Bobby right. Bobby mentioned that Irishman is a friend of his. Oh, yeah. yeah. That well, just yeah. wanted to be in the movie, and this was his opportunity to finally there make that go. appearance. Yep. <laughs> That's a nice, Big, nice little right. fuck you, <laughs> buddy. Here you go. Excuse me. Do you think these bar napkins smell like chloroform? I'm kidding. Fred Searing, can I buy you a drink? Wow. What the hell was that? You can't get any bigger! Look at this! Tall blonde, right here. She surrounds herself with less attractive women to make her look like a 10. Hot. Nah. That's amazing! You're like a beautiful mind. Fake chow.